this video, we're going to talk about sine versus unsigned magnitude and what it means. Uh, an unsigned magnitude, let's take the number 8, right? 8 in binary, if this is uh, 0, uh, I'm sorry, this number here is 1, 2 to the first power is 1, 2 to the, first, uh, two to the 0 power is 1, 2 to the first power is 2, 2 to the second power is 4, 2 to the third power is 8, right? So if the number is unsigned, okay, it means I take the number, let's say, um, if I take the number 15, right, so this is 1, 1, 1, 1, so 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, 15 unsigned means what? 1, 1, 1, 1, okay? However, if this is one to make sign, then this, this becomes a placeholder and doesn't count, okay? So when I say 1, 1, 1, 1 signed, okay? Now I can say that 0, 1, 1, 1 is now 8. Positive 8 signed, where the 0 now is in the fourth bit. Minus 8 is 1, 1, 1, 1, but this first number now designates a negative. So this is minus 8 signed. Okay. Notice they both have 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1, 1. However, the difference in a sign was this, this no longer counts in the numeric computation, but is simply a positive or negative placeholder, okay? So here, a plus 15 cannot fit, an unsigned will fit within four bits, but a 15 will not fit in a signed four bit. Why? Because the highest number you can get is an eight.